Hey everybody, I want to do a video for you real quick uh, as a bit of encouragement for those who are homeschooling kids, especially those who are homeschooling younger kids. I know I've done a video about this bef somewhat similar before, but it's not quite the same thing. Um, I've talked a lot about my oldest daughter and how she has had um, difficulties with reading. Um, she had difficulties with reading, not so much in the sense of memorizing or remembering things like she could literally memorize a whole book but the problem was is she had problem converting what she memorized in that book over to another book so she was memorizing the book but not the words and so she was memorizing books literally at the age of four so it wasn't a memory thing in that sense it was kind of different and then at the same time too she just really didn't like it for a long time she did not like reading she's a math kid and uh really just wasn't for it so we had a lot of struggles and things like that that we went through, but that we also overcame. And I did a video a while back about her starting to read chapter books. She is nine, now 10 years old. Um, or she was nine when she started reading the chapter books and now is 10 years old. Um, but the thing about it is, is she actually just finished um, Misty Inn. It was a whole series. It's an eight book series. It's chapter books. And... Um, she just finished them. She read them all by herself. And there was times where, like, I had to tell her to stop reading at night because it was 930 at night and she needed to go to bed, <laughs> which is really exciting considering this is the same child that would cry and say, I don't want to read. I hate reading. I don't want to do this. This is now the child who has completed an entire eight book chapter book series. And then now I started on the Anna Green Gables series. And if you all have ever read Anna Green Gables, you know that that is not an easy book to read. Um, and we have the whole eight book series <laughs> and she's already starting to read it. Um, but also with that too, I want to talk a little bit about my middle daughter as well and a similarity that they both have. So my middle daughter had more of problems with like speech impediments, like the TH sound, the S R F kind of, I, I don't remember all of them cause we've worked through them all now, but when she was little, probably four or five years old, she had a bit of a speech impediment. We worked through that. She's seven years old now. She doesn't have the speech impediments anymore. Um, we didn't go to like physical therapy or anything like that. I just worked with her with them. Um, and so now she's seven years old. There's something that happened with both my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter at seven years old. It started to click. The words made sense. Everything started making sense to them. My middle daughter now is reading so much better than she was even just a few weeks ago. She didn't just turn seven. She's been seven for a while. But at the same time, it clicked. I remember with my oldest daughter when it started to click. She was seven. Seven seems to be the age, at least for my children, that reading and words and letter sounds and everything really makes sense. And I just don't want anybody to give up because their kid is having a hard time reading. Like, oh, I can't homeschool because my kid's having a hard time reading. Or I, I'm failing as a homeschooling parent or anything like that. No, sometimes it just takes time. You know, my kids are both, what, seven, seven years old to second grade or something like that. First grade, maybe, depending on when you go start school. But it didn't start clicking for them until they were seven years old. And my oldest was probably well into seven years old and maybe get it approaching eight years old. And my middle daughter now is seven and a half. So it's taken time for even sometimes simple words to make sense to them. And so just take your time, really work with your children. And it may be just my kids. That's just the way they are. Seven years old is when it works, but it may be a more universal thing. I don't know, but <laughs> Take your time. Don't beat yourself up over it. Just work with them, love on them, help them. And if they get frustrated, let them take breaks. You know, that you shouldn't be taking like week long breaks, but like give them grace, give yourself grace and let you, let you two work through the process together and find out what works best for each other. It may be phonics. It may be sight words ladder. Who knows what for my old, my middle daughter, she sight words ladders she hates them they just don't make sense to her she doesn't understand why she's just reading one word at a time but if you take those sight words on that sight words ladder and put them into a story she understands them and she can then take them from that story and transfer them over to another story and still know the words so that's how she memorizes words better is by actually reading them in a book she gets context and then she understands what the word means and then she can use them in another story 
where my oldest daughter, it was sights, words, letters, and phonics that really got to her and really got her to help understanding her words and everything like that. So two very different things. One, sight, words, letters, and phonics. The other one, actually just reading in a story. But at the same time, both of them were seven years old. So you really have to just work with your kids, find out what's right for them, and don't give up. It's okay to struggle. It's okay to sometimes fail. I mean, I failed with my oldest daughter, trying to force her to do you know, certain types of reading that she just wasn't ready for and things like that, just to move her along to the next level or whatever. And, you know, we fail, we learn, we regroup, and then we move on. And then we do what's better for our kids and we learn and it's fantastic. And I'm so thankful that we have been on this journey now. Gosh, my oldest is 10, six years, basically that we've been homeschooling. And so I'm really thankful for this journey. I'm thankful for the journey that I've started now with our youngest daughter. And eventually we will with our son as well, too. Um, but uh, it's it's a work in progress. It's always a work in progress, guys. And just, uh, give your, like I said, give yourself grace and find out what works best for you and your kids. All right. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.